So, new project, go to the Vico Office client, because the Excel import is part of the Vico Office client, and click on the import from Excel workflow item. That opens this view. No Excel yet, only a preview grid. Uh, this is where the uh, uh, content of the Excel spreadsheet will be presented. And instructions. We made sure that everyone was will be following the instructions by putting the numbers here, step one, two, three, four, and five, as well as here. Uh, so if, as long as you follow those directions, you'll be fine and just to make sure it's included in the help file as well. The first step is number two, and that is pick a view. That means select what kind of data you're going to bring in. Is that going to be cost banner data, which means it has a code, it has a description, cost per unit, etc. Is it going to be take-up manager, which means take-up items, take-up quantities, and the actual quantities? Uh, or is it, uh, so sorry, this is take-up manager with the locations. This is just the take-up items with the total quantities. Tag editor is, you may have a list of um, classifications that you typically work with. Um, or a, a list of subcontractors that you typically work with. And you want them, those tags to be able, so you can populate your commitments, the commitments tag, with those values, then you don't have to type all of those in manually. You can just use the tag editor Excel import and bring that into the Vico Office project. Constructability Manager brings in constructability issues. So maybe you have kept track, same thing for RFI Manager, of issues in the project in Excel, and you want to start using them in Office because you may want to associate elements from the 3D model with those issues. Today it's only a code with a description, then you want to make that more interactive by uh, painting your elements with that too. So those options are supported. I will use Cost Planner now. And it will show a temporary uh, branch, a temporary view of a cost plan. If I had already a uh, set of cost data in Cost Planner, that would not show up in here. This is empty. This is only a repository where my Excel import data resides for the time uh, or during the process of the Excel import. That was step number two. Number three is going to be uh, opening the Excel file that contains the data. It opens the file browser. I have a file here, RBB Excel database that uh, contains all these assemblies, components, codes, tags, the whole shebez that I want to bring in. Select the file, click open, and that shows the content of the Excel spreadsheet here in the bottom. So the actual import process starts by selecting the data type that a certain column contains. Uh, so everything is set up by column. Uh, which means that to prepare your Excel spreadsheet for use with the Excel import function, it is highly recommendable to organize it in such a way that you just can select the whole column. Uh, that way it's, it's a lot faster. If you need to uh, combine code 1 and code 2 in one single column, that means a lot of clicking uh, because you need to specify for each cell individually what it belongs to, what type of data it, um, it is. Data type here is code, and code is an, an entry that can be used to determine the hierarchy level. So Cost Planner has the N tier structure, uh, which means that I, I missed everything in the previous level. And you can bring in Excel data that is set up that way by selecting the hierarchy level over here at the bottom. So description does not have that option. Code does. I start with hierarchy level 1, of course. We'll see with code level two what that uh, that means when you go deeper into the uh, the hierarchy structure. Click OK. Nothing is selected yet. I now click on the column header, 
and that brings in all the data that exists in that column, including code one, which is a value that I don't want because that's really the, the header for myself to remind me what, what is included in that. So I just click on that and that deselects it, updates the preview, and now I have all the data that I want from that column. So that then goes into the next level. I want to use everything in this column as the second level of my cost plan hierarchy. So therefore, I increase the hierarchy level by one. It becomes hierarchy level two. Click OK. Click the column header. And you see that everything is included correctly in that group. A now contains A10. B contains B10, B20, B30. And is there a... Um, oh, what all, oh, never mind. Okay. So I had description here. 1,229. Consumption. Units, so that's the units for consumption. For example, uh, ton per cubic yard. This is unit for the final quantity. You see, every time I complete the, the selection of, uh, of items, the column is updated in here as well. Uh, let's see, waste factor, okay. And then we have cost per unit, which is translated into unit cost. And then an interesting one is cost type, the next one. That is a tag. So if you have cost estimating content uh, that has been labeled, uh, the only thing you need to do is make sure that that tag exists. So if you have the example um, uh, commitment, commitment from, the only thing you need to make sure is that you have a dedicated tag that says commitment. And then all the values, the name of the suppliers, the subcontractors that you have in the spreadsheet will automatically go into that tag. So the only thing you do is create a container and all the content will go to there. So the, all the data that was initially related to that tag will go there? Yes. Correct. All unique items will be will result in a unique entry in that tag, unique tag value. So now we select the cost type tag, click OK, and select the column. And everything that had a value for cost type will now be assigned a cost type based on what we had in the spreadsheet. Uh, the formula needs to go into source quantity because that's where we define the takeoff items and the tick of quantities. So this means if you created a content plan and specified in the content plan what, uh, what uh, element type or what the name of the, of the family and the name of the, the quantity type should be, you can use the Excel import function to convert your uh, content plan into the start of a cost estimate. Oh, cool. That's how this was done, actually. 